to help out, but Volton digs it out of a pile on his right wing, goes across that center. Nice saucer pass to Scott Conway. Back in down the middle, flip in front, a shot, they scored! Well, Nick Jones jumps up on the first line and jumps the V's out to an early lead. Blocker's side on a pass from Scott Conway, tips it in, just 104 into the game. The first shot for Penticton, and Jones has the V's out ahead, 1-0. And a nightmare start for Bailey McBurney, the trail starter and the trail smoke eaters. Not what they wanted after that Sensational start last night. Pass at center, look out. Breakaway attempt, Keenan Scott off the post, off the other post and out. Oh my, the whistle goes. Keenan Scott was behind the D as he blew the zone early to get that breakaway pass. McKecker and hit him from the trail side of the blue line. A great With pass. Bennett Morrison, the trail defenseman, comes loose in front. Conway dancing in, backhander in front, they score! A power play goal, Conway does all the work, he threw it back door. It looked like that was banked in by Nick Jones, but we'll see if it's official regardless. With 5.38 to go, Penticton leads it by a score of 2-0. Might have been D'Amico handing on the back door blocker's side. We'll wait for the replay in building. But we do know the V has got a power play goal and some great and crafty stick work by Scott Conway. And he goes back door, and it is Hanoon scoring the goal on the blocker's side to standing at the side of the net. Ward at center for Volton, back in front. Ward coming in, shoots, scores! His first goal of the year, his second of the career. The 27 game drought is over for Taylor Ward. Rips it underneath the crossbar glove side, in and out in a flash, but it counts. 2.56 in, the V's have a 3-0 lead. What a shot. Taylor Ward at the end of a power play shift. Walking in on right wing as the trail smoke eaters are caught up ice. Walks right in on that. Look out in front, Brooks scores! Delayed penalty, Mitch Brooks turns and fires. And it's 4-0. Taylor Ward is having himself a period. He's going to have a bad smile for Christmas pitchers. But it pays off as a V score on the power play or delayed penalty call. Puck went back to the point. Griffin Mendel lets it go right in front, grabbing the puck was Mitch Brooks who turned and fired. He had a all day long to put that puck in the net. Right center, back in, rips it, scores! <laughs> Scott Conway grips it and rips it, glove side down the left wing. Ah. Star on the left wing gets it, drops it to McKecker, moves in left circle, takes a shot, he scores! Evan McKecker gets trail on the board. Squeezes the shot from the left circle underneath the arm of Zach Driscoll. And Trail's power play breaks the shutout. It's 5-1. These are two for three on the PK here tonight. Nick Jones, Tyson Joe, Scott Conley back in the four check. Fabro's point shot stopped. Fumbled in front. They score! V's get their five goal lead back. Point shot was blocked down by Lyndon Marshall, but it's tapped in by Scott Conway with 58 seconds left. His second goal tonight, and the Bees lead it by a score of five to one. Five on five, they've outscored Trill by my count, five to nothing. Now Hanoon from center, dancing back in on left wing, he scores! <laughs> Effort, the patented D'Amico Hanoon rush down the left wing, going far glove side, goal line, forehand deep with a lot of speed out of nowhere, and it's 7 1 Penticton. Trail was changing, Hanoon took advantage, scores his second of the night. And his right wing corner trying to find the puck. Look out, fight behind the play. Taylor Ward, left circle with John Loretto. 
Ward overhand right. Loretto tries to throw a right. Ward going left, and then he goes to the ice with Loretto. 3-1 winners at home against Cowichan Valley. Off the draw, look how they score! Desi Burgart in the right circle found it and ripped it glove side. And all the young guys getting involved. He makes it 8-1 with 118 to go. Seconds left and that is it. V's win it 8-1. Spanking the Trail Smoke Eaters for the third straight game against them. And they stay perfect at home. Winning their 14th home game of the year and make it 18 straight wins at the SOEC in the regular season going back to last year.